Have you read what the Bible says? No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. So it shows you that weapons can be invented. Now, have you ever sat down and you begin to meditate on your life and discover that in that season, all of a sudden, you started battling with lust? Have you ever experienced it? You started battling with lust. You know that you do not chase after men or women. You do not interact with lustful contents. Where is this lust coming from? I'm going to show you something that many people don't know. You see, if someone of the marine kingdom or someone with an unclean spirit senses you and notices that a son of God, a daughter of light, is in the neighborhood, the next thing that they'll begin to do is to observe you. They'll begin to study you. You see, God knows who you are in the spirit and Satan too knows who you are in the spirit. If you've read scriptures, you'll discover that, that sometimes Yeshua would be in the synagogue and then demons would cry out of people and the demons would say something. They say, we know who you what? Who you are, you see? So you cannot come before a situation that is orchestrated by a demon and claim to be what you are if not. You are in the neighborhood and someone possessed with an evil spirit, with an unclean spirit, dwells in that neighborhood with you. Now what happens is that if the person, let's say, wants to spirit lost into you, I will still together. The person wants to impact you with lust. The first thing that they need is something that has a connection with you. Remember I taught one of those days on how the soul of man can be fragmented. Your soul exists in you, but you can actually lose your soul. If Satan cannot touch you, he will look for the things that you frag you've broken your soul into. Some people, their soul has been lost to a car. So even if Satan cannot reach them, if Satan touches the car, he has touched them. Do you understand? Some people have lost their soul to a relationship. So if Satan cannot attack them, Satan will just look for that relationship. And what? Attack. Because he knows if he touches the relationship, he has touched you. Why? The soul has been lost. So there are a lot of people... When the Lord gave me this lecture, it was very amazing. There are a lot of people that have fragmented their souls into 1,000 things, 20 things. So, Satan doesn't really need to come to their house. He just begins to start the things that their, their soul has been given to. And guess what? It's affecting their Jerusalem. So, when these people find anything your soul is attacked to, money, so they will take money from you, clothes, this girl can be here. You could see, man. Can I speak? This girl can be in her room somewhere. And she wants to send lust to you. She will not say, I send lust to the brother. No. She will go naked. Because you see, weapons are what? Formed. Are we together? Or he will go naked. And then in the room, they will begin to touch themselves. And as they are doing that sexual act, guess what? You are the one in view. Can I teach you spiritual things here? So they are doing that and they are touching themselves and they are doing all those sexual act. Guess what? An energy is being cooked. The immediately they release, guess what? Energy leaves them and the energy becomes an entity that goes straight to you. I don't know how to explain this to you. When they release, they've given life to an entity. When they were creating that weapon, guess who was in their mind? Who? You. Once they are done with that thing, an energy has been released. Energy is not destroyed. Even physics teaches you that. The energy takes on an intelligence. Sometimes the energy will stand with them. And when they see you, oh, Pastor Elisha, sir, sir, and they now hug you. They've, they've told the energy in the spirit that this is the one I want you to steal it. And you will say, you will say, my daughter, in Omeko si la mahado. Yeko tokoro siba. La itamona. If you are hot in the spirit, as she's coming, aiko si na mama koma. Taiko. Kailamo. My daughter in the Lord. And then you go home. And they say power is a clothing. Guess what? That energy will begin to try to mantle you. Ha! 
it tries to come you resist you see what's happening here it will be it's a garment it wants to wear you it, it wants you to want to wear it it will come again like a shadow uh, you my paranda sakabora that is how death is also released when the spirit is that we kill an animal and as the animal's blood is poured out and energy is formed and then they give the the, the death they give it your clothes to smell your picture to see and guess what when death comes it will come like a garment the bible said the shadow of death it will come and it will be trying to get you to wear that garment somebody say i refuse i went to a friend's house all of them were sick mother brother all of them in abuja here and he called me that was some years ago he said prophet there's something happening in the house me i'm sick my mother everyone is almost dying all of a sudden i said come and pick me they lived around Nyanya here i went to their house as soon as i stepped to the door i saw a a darkness it was like this shadow looming on the ceiling it was just looming you know? ah! i told them i said brother there's a shadow here he was looking at me Joel, i've started again i said oh god there is a shadow here and then we began to pray we prayed for light we prayed prayed pray until that shadow dissipated guess what the next day they were perfectly fine as though nothing ever happened is what a weapon formed a weapon formed against the man you are intelligent why are they seeing someone different somebody has spirited his own illiteracy he, this person brings her children and he touches them and tells the spirit give me the accost give me the accost give me the accost then you that is just trying to dedicate your child they now come they now put that cost on 15 era and they now put on your child head I'm teaching you the technologies by which weapons are what formed against the man. And when the weapon is forced, guess what? When a weapon is formed, guess what it seeks, sir? It seeks prosperity. Do you know what it means to prosper? It means to keep trying, trying to gain ground until you finally conquered. So if the Bible says no weapon formed against you shall prosper, don't expect. Oh my God. He's simply trying to tell you, Apostle Ephraim, that when the weapon is formed, it will be sent. But after worrying with you, it will not overpower you. You can be a minister of God. A diabolic pastor knows where you are doing your meetings. He comes to your church venue when there's nothing happening there. And then he, he throws animal dogs and different things there. And that's what? His spirits, your ministry, and when I'm talking about ministry, I'm not talking about your calling. I'm talking about the people's attention to your calling. You are high in the spirit, they cannot touch you. But guess what? If you are not sensitive in the spirit, your people that are weak, as they cross that thing, they've touched them. Guess what? Next Sunday, they are no longer interested in coming. Hey, you don't like what I'm saying. Alleluia, sir. Do you know that sometimes I'll be in my room, the only go say, bend down and pick this thing. As foolish as it is, I'll just bend down. He said, and I will just pass your head. To make you aware that demons can actually customize weapons formed specifically for a man. Utterances and writings. Sacrifices and ordinances. Yeah, there are the, the diverse craftsmen in the demonic world. Yes, there are diverse way. They have a lab. When they try one, it doesn't work. They take you. That's why the Bible says you need to have the shield of faith. So that everything Satan throws your way, you can swallow it. So demons know the structural integrity of your priesthood in the spirit. But you see, you have to get to a dimension of strength before a demon will form a weapon against you. If you are normal, that's what they will do. They will just send temptation. The weak ones, guess what they do to them? They send a temptation. A girl just come and talk to you. Hey, brother, I love you. That's all. <laughs> Man of God, I'm seeing her in my dream. She's the one. Hallelujah. 
I'm praying, but she's appearing. So this could be a sign from the Lord. 